we're on our way to Myrtle Beach. We're going to take a look at the supercharger there, and then we're gonna go to Dave and Buster's. So we'll catch you all on the flip side. Okay, we're on our way into the Myrtle Beach supercharger. It's at the mall. And you know what a mall means for the ratings. It's called the Coastal Grand Myrtle Beach Mall. This location is a 10 stall. It's not bad. It's a mall in a, uh, a mall with a strip mall around it. You can see the superchargers from the frontage road, but you have to go all the way around the mall to get to them from either direction. And uh, that's there's a whole bunch of people on the wrong side of them. <laughs> The actual supercharger stalls are on this side, unlike all of these other owners here. This isn't one of the stations that actually has the, uh, the double-sided. Uh, if they were, then you'd see them a lot closer together. But I guess it's a good thing if they happen to get uh, blocked by a bunch of fossils, then you still have a way to actually reach them. Uh, there are 10 of them. Uh, half of them are general parking, the 30 minutes. And then there is one pull-in if you happen to have a trailer. But I think if you used it with the trailer, you'd be a bit of a jerk because you'd be blocking the exit. All right, so we're gonna get out of the car and then I'll give you a summary and we'll do a quick run to the restroom. 10 stall station here in Myrtle Beach is in a pretty convenient location. It's right at the mall and it's kind of in the middle of everything that you might be doing. Fossils. <laughs> it's right in the middle of everything you might be doing while you're here on vacation. So it's, it's not a bad deal. Okay, so that was the Myrtle Beach Supercharger. I wanted to give this a seven, but the restrooms were very dirty and the women's room had a line. How was it? Was there a line? I mean, besides the line, was it, was it dirty? Was it clean? It was dirty? Okay. And the line. And the men's room, in the top of being dirty, it was one of those ones where in between the urinals, there was no partition and uh, I, I I find that uncomfortable. I, I was never a fan of the locker rooms as a kid, and I don't want to go there as an adult. So I, I, I would give it a seven if they had clean restrooms, but uh, I'm gonna give it a six. Plenty of selection, plenty to eat and do, uh, especially during during the uh, during the the beach season. But even in the off season, it's still got plenty to do. It's, it's fun. And the supercharger does not have a directly attached trash can. You'll have to go inside the mall for that. Well, or at least outside the mall uh, on their sidewalks. Uh, and again, it's a mall, so it will close at night is the other reason why I'm rating it lower than it could be versus say a hotel or the airport or a travel center. I love the one in Delaware. I'll take you guys there soon. Uh, it's right there on the turnpike. Boom, 24 seven, plenty of supercharger stalls. It's gonna be a blast. So I would give the Myrtle Beach Supercharger a six out of 10.